What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is six lies we were told before going to America. Yeah, these are good ones. These are good ones. Uh, some well, which... it's not good to lie. Yes, yeah, it's, well, it's <laughs> just... Yeah, I guess... I guess myths are, yeah. and stuff which maybe potentially is overstated a little bit or maybe more. opinions. Opinions, and this is our experience. Yeah. So maybe it is... Not the same for everyone. Yeah, not the same for everyone, uh, but maybe not all of them. Some of them are definitely not true. Yes, definitely. Yeah. Smash that if you enjoy, guys. Smash that subscribe button. Sorry about the mess in here. That is Archie playpen. We, this this room is the rest of the flat is spotless. This room is our like dumping ground, if you will. Like this is where we need to things need to get taken to the tip. We yeah. need to put things into storage. Unfortunately, this is this is multi room and um, it's also room. our recording room as well. So yeah. uh, we only live in a two bed flat. We haven't got loads and loads of rooms, and we have. Too Archie much does not play in his playpen like that. Can I just? <laughs> it goes in the lounge. He's in here because he doesn't like the playpen right yeah. now. <laughs> But yeah, smash the like button guys, smash the subscribe button, and let's get into number one, which we have is, we put down as guns, but this lie is that there's guns everywhere, the idea that you walk down the street, you'll see someone holding a pistol or something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, So I remember when we were going to New York, Yeah. Um, and then this girl on my course, I was, at, I was at college then, and she was like, don't go to America, there's so many guns. And I was like, because I was a bit freaked out about guns yeah. too, that, that, was a big, that was a big thing for me before we went to New York especially was, oh my god, I'm, like, I'm a bit scared about the guns. Yeah. I think I only saw guns in the airport, and maybe on the police officers in Times Square. Don't get me wrong, because we're definitely <laughs> going to get comments on this. People definitely would have had guns. I they definitely would have. Carry. We just wouldn't, they're just not out. Yeah, you just wouldn't, you, you would not be able to tell if someone had one or not, which then kind of gets you out of your mind. Because you, yeah, you, you can't, can't see, see it. it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Definitely, the, I mean, I'm get, uh, we must walk past those people that probably had them. But they weren't out there knowingly. Like we, you couldn't see it when you walked past people. Yeah, exactly. I didn't see a single gun. Whereas outside. I thought that we would see it everywhere. Yeah, you'd see, especially when because there were signs on like the hotel saying no gun allowed in here yeah. and stuff like that. And you kind of thought, oh, are we going to see a bit it? More um, of a, yeah. And like you say, the typical thing is there's guns everywhere in America, which there is a lot of guns. But the idea of you walk around every corner and you see someone holding a gun or doing open carry. It's not true. Well, it's not, for from, us, from our experience, our period, it's not true. Yeah. Uh, again, let us know what you guys think in the comments below. Should we do the next one? Yeah, so the next one is that everybody's overweight. I think... Um, but they're not. <laughs> they're not. <laughs> the definitely not a lot. So I feel like this is definitely a, um, a myth and one that is kind of... It, it's quite a bigger one, I think. And I think, well, like... People in the UK always joke about this, I think, that our oh, Americans are all overweight. Yeah. Um, I can't say that I notice more overweight people than not. Yeah, I guess... I didn't, I didn't count, yeah, but it, I can't it, say I really thought, oh my God, in Santa Monica, there's a lot of... I, I just didn't... You just don't think about it. Exactly. I think, obviously, there was overweight people. The stats back it up. Same in the UK and stuff like that, and I don't know what the percentages are, but I believe there, believe there potentially is more overweight people in America than the UK. Mm -hmm. But the way it gets said is, like you said, everybody's eating fast food, everyone's having five burgers for dinner, everybody's overweight, and, don't get me wrong, and there's no fit people. Like, it's kind of a stereotype yeah. at times. It's like, what? Really? Like, in and out is well good, and I oh, would probably was. eat that every day if I could. But, yeah, it's not... It's just not... I don't know. We, I, we just just didn't didn't. Know, I just didn't notice it. Like, yeah. Yeah. I, I think, think that's it. You don't look for it anyway, but I think if somebody is extremely overweight you normally notice yeah I not if you can't care say, I, I can't say I, I wasn't paying attention yeah and uh, <laughs> and like you say I, I don't care if you're overweight at the end of the day it's their life it's got nothing to do with me yeah but I think it does catch your eye potentially like, oh, and then you just get on with your yeah, life because you it's none of your business it. yeah um but not, nothing caught my eye to be honest no and uh, and like you say I think it's just exaggerated that, I that think one so definitely. definitely maybe it's turned like got worse because everyone's played on it and kind of like made it into a jokey thing now Definitely. Um, again, this one may be perceived as a little bit of a joke thing. There is the saying, the Brits think 100 miles is a long distance and Americans think 100 years is a long time. Um, so this one is that America has no history. Um, and again, yes, the UK has a longer history. Yes, there's buildings which are super old. But there is so much history. Yeah, short to, space of time. I think. In short space, really cool history, which is worth seeing. And um, I, I would say I'm I mean, a we, complete myth. We saw, like, we learn about history almost every day of our trip. Something yeah. new every day about Something America. Something new would pop up. About what, you know, like, the, even just the, the day at the Alamo. How much we learned there. Alamo as well. Um, and just, yeah, that was a big one. 
Yeah, that was a big one. Um, but yeah, just, yeah, there is clearly history. <laughs> clearly history. And uh, some awesome sites. Like, again, I don't know how old the painted ladies are, but just a random site yeah. where you think, that is really cool with Victorian houses, mm -hmm. eh? Like, yeah, the San Francisco Victorian. Yeah. Didn't know it was a thing. It definitely is a thing. Yeah. Archie has joined the video. <laughs> Hello, mister. Yeah. Um, First time so. he's seen Daddy, so he might be a bit... <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I haven't actually seen you. Hello. He's been asleep. Hello, lad. You on the video? He's saying hi. He's like, I've just woke up, guys. What's going on? <laughs> uh, the next one we have on the list is fast food. Yeah, fast and food. And this is in terms of not everyone. There isn't only just fast food. American food isn't fast food. No, exactly. Like literally, oh, everyone says to me, like, oh, Americans. That, I think that ties in with the other way. One, Ev Americans just eat fast food. Blah blah blah. All they have is fast food. That like when they think of about American food, they all say burgers, etc., stuff like yeah. that. Um, but that is not the case. Like we had so many varieties of, f oh, of food barbecue, types. Oh, um, like and just and don't get me wrong, the fast food was good. Don't get me wrong, but there's a lot of local food um, and like I guess state food, which is completely yeah. different to what we make and stuff. Oh, like actually, what? really like the barbecue. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Did you like that? Um, so like, there's so much yeah. American food, which isn't isn't just classed burgers. as American food. Yeah, I like Tex-Mex, I guess. Um, we, I would not think of that I in America yeah, as, I would, a big, well, as a big part of America. But it is mean? in Texas. It's a big part of yeah. it. It's a, it's a take on Mexican food, uh, um, barbecue. Again, we don't... We, um, our bar oh, we're going to be using Millie's mic right now. Uh, <laughs> um, our barbecue is completely different. Yeah, definitely. It like, is. it's just... not. It's, I, I can't even call it barbecue. Though. No, we can't. We can't. <laughs> Um, so the last one is transport. Um, this was a big one because we've been told so many times yeah, that the transport in the US is bad, um, that it's, you know, it's not good. Um, and we, and I think actually specifically San Francisco was called out. Yeah, San Francisco was really good. And I, um, I found, well, uh, you did all the planning with it and everything and um, it was great. It was great, and I, I think this comes from, in the UK, you can get a cross-country transport, so it seemed as amazing transport, and it is good. Yep. The public transport is really good in terms of getting yep. everywhere. Can I go down? But because you can't get from one side of the US to the other consistently, and each state always by train, for example, mm -hmm. people say it's bad transport. But when you actually go within a state, which is similar sizes to the UK, yep. you can get quite far in a state with buses and stuff like that. And I think that, that's, that's I think it was good. good. Yeah, I, I don't think, I don't, think we had any negative experiences no and we did of... quite a lot in san francisco we went from san antonio to austin on the bus as well yeah exactly and, um, yeah, yeah. I, I, I rated it quite well yeah i did smash that button if you enjoy guys smash that subscribe button we did have a few more but it is quite hard to record with archie so we're going to leave them for part two if you yeah, want to see let it. us know if you want part two let us know in the comments if you do enjoy it please smash that button smash that subscribe button have a fantastic day, guys. Our desk is getting wrecked now, so we're going to go and play with Archie. Same we're going to go play with you, mister. And, uh, and what's your video? Have a fantastic day. And we will see you, legends, in the next Archie, one. Archie, say Peace. bye. He's saying bye-bye. <laughs> 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 <laughs>